wanadamu mimi nimekuweka kuwa mlinzi wa nyumba ya Israeli basi sikia neno litoka leo kinyo ni mwangu ukawape maonyo yatukayo kinyo ni mwangu wasikose sikia maonyo hayo wakifa kwenye maovu yao damu yao nitataka mkono ni mwako wanadamu mimi nimekuweka kuwa mlinzi wa nyumba ya Israeli basi sikia neno litoka welcome again today we continue with uh, the less prominent personalities of the Bible, especially the New Testament. And uh, before we get the person of today, let's pray. Lord of Almighty, ruler of earth and heaven, we again come to you for guidance through the power of the Holy Spirit as we speak to the viewer and the listener. May your will be done in our lives as we, and we pray that as we learn of all these characters, we may become like them when we admire the spirit that they had. Thank you, Jesus, for bestowing the spirit on us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, today we want to look at a new person again called Nicolaus. Nicolaus. Nicolaus was fitted for service. The book of Acts chapter 6 verse 5, Acts chapter 6 verse 5, and the saying pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicolaus, a proselyte from Antioch. Uh, from today onwards, I'll be interested in the people that have been listed therein, so that we can know who they were. They were not known much. And in the history of the church, they played a very significant role. In the choosing of the, apostle, uh, of the, of the deacons, you know what the apostles did. Let me give you a little bit of the background as we read from the book of Acts chapter 6. That in those days when the number of the disciples were multiplying, there arose a complaint against Hebrew by the Hellenists because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution, especially of food. So as the church was growing and as the sharing was still being carried all out, there, there arose a complaint among the Jewish uh, 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 women that, and, uh, who were widows that they were being neglected. They were, not, they were not being given enough food. So the Hebrews and the Hellenists had that problem. Hebrews are the, the real Jews. Hellenists are those who were not Jews but were uh, converted into Christianity. So because there was a controversy on how to uh, divide food for all these people, the apostles decided that they have to sit down, call uh, a, a meeting, and then see how they are going to resolve the crisis. So then the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, it is desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. It is not desirable that we leave the word of God and serve tables. So we cannot go back to uh, 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 serving people food. That people are complaining for us that we need to serve them food, but there is the work of the Lord which is to be carried on. So whenever we have as apostles of Christ the service of the Lord and distribution of food, what will come first is the service of our Lord. We, we don't get involved in, 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 in giving people food and distributing, take this, take this, you don't take that, bring this here. That is not the work of the apostles. Then Peter continued and said, Therefore, brethren, seek out from among you Seven men of good reputation, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. So they were going to uh, appoint people. They had qualifications. They had character traits that they needed from them. Now, Nicolaus, who was fitted for service, happened to be one of them. Originally, he came from a place known as 
Antioch. He was a Gentile who had been converted into Judaism. This was not a Jew by birth. By the way, this religion was not theirs. This religion belonged to the Jews, Christianity, as they thought. Because Christianity, you know, it came through Judaism. And when it was a child of Judaism, many people thought that this is for the Jews alone. It's not for uh, Hellenists or, or, even, or even Gentiles. But Nicolaus was not a Jew. So it means his conversion to Judaism gave him a step ahead in his life. Most Gentiles showed no interest in the Old Testament uh, literature. When, when they were read those days, they didn't take any concern because they said those are readings for the Jews. We don't need them. No, before Christianity came, there was one religion that Jesus uh, got into, and that was uh, Judaism. And Judaism used most of the Old Testament books as their uh, creed or the book they read in worship. So most of the Gentiles had no interest completely in these books. They never wanted uh, them or even to listen to them. But Nicolaus uh, was different. Nicolaus was different. What? He had an open mind. So he, 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 he tried it. He tested it. He wanted to know what these people are reading from these books. And then when he tried it, he saw the value of the biblical message. And when he heard the good news about Christ the Savior who was risen, he became a Christian. So Nicolau, who is a Gentile, listened to the messages of the Old Testament and finally hearing the, the good news of Christ, who is the Savior, who died and came back to life, Nicolaus get, got converted and he became a Christian. Finally, as we read in the book of Acts chapter 6, he was chosen to be one of the seven deacons. So this career that he gets into clearly shows that he was fitted for whatever work he was called to do. Whether he was a Jew or a Gentile, he was still called to be uh, one of the deacons. And, and just as I read, when the apostles, the big men sat down to, 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 to appoint those who are going to be deacons, look at what they say. Therefore, brethren, <laughs> let us seek only seven among the many who are of good reputation. Look at that. Look at that. Good reputation. Then number two, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. And three, we can appoint them to be in this business. Now, today, we want to ask ourselves whether we have qualified for the post to which Nicolaus was elected. Now, if, if you ask yourself, am I qualified for the same post that Nicolaus is being elected into? I know there are many who, who when they read the, the qualifications here, and then they, they, are, they are told, go and also vie for the same uh, position, they would run away, they would say, no, I don't have those qualifications. But Nicolaus was so much fitted for this kind of work. Why? Because number one, they saw that he was of good reputation. Number two, he was full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. In the first place, ask yourself, whenever there is anything that requires your service, ask yourself that do you have a character that can recommend you for such a, a service? That is what we can ask of Nicolaus. Did he have a, the character that is required for that work? The answer is yes. Number two, would people see in you a desire for the maintenance of love and unity among other people? say, uh, Jews and the Gentiles. Would they see it? 
This is why I'm saying Nicolaus was seriously fitted for service. Because all these questions were given an affirmative uh, response. It was yes. They affirmed that he was in a position of doing that. Number three, ask yourself, would people see uh, in you uh, qualities such as sincerity, honesty, hospitality, self-control, uprightness, and even holiness and the like when they are looking for somebody to serve? Now, when, when it reaches a time for church elections, we, 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 we find people who, are, who, who want to be in those positions. But then, these three questions are supposed to be asked. Even during this time, these questions are very important. That is why we are bringing in Nicolaus, so that you can see people who are fitted for service. At this particular time, we need people who are fitted to serve the nation, to serve those who are suffering. And they must be qualified. In the morning I heard of job advertisement in our county. And, and my, uh, my, my mind went to this. Are they like Nicolaus? Are they fitted for the work they are going to do? Let me tell you. We must remember that such characteristics are not only of importance for those who have been elected to an important church office. We are all stewards appointed by God and must allow the Holy Spirit to equip us with such qualifications. So, be it that you are appointed to an office or you are not appointed, you are given a responsibility or you are not given, you are a steward appointed by God. So, you need to have those qualifications fitted for service. That is Nicolaus. Although we know little about Nicolaus, God gave him wisdom in generous measure. If we want to serve the Lord, we also can receive the wisdom from on high. And when we receive that wisdom from on high, we will live a Christian lifestyle, a conduct that is characterized by faith and love that will uh, prove that we are really committed to Christ. So I tell you, Nicolaus was only chosen to become one of the seven because he was fitted for service. Ask yourself, are you really fitted for service? Whether we were or still are, the Spirit of God can make us fit for service. Again, I want to say that whether we were church leaders or whether we were appointed in different uh, 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 positions of the church, we are still here to be filled by the Spirit of God so that we can be fit for his service. So, Nicolaus, one of the seven, who is uh, not known much, was very fit for the service of God. I pray with you that get the power of the Holy Spirit. Believe in Jesus. Make a commitment with him so that he can fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit. And when, when he fills you with the power of the Holy Spirit, you will be very fit for any service that you are given to do. Many people cannot perform uh, some services in the church or even in the community because one, they have not had a commitment with Jesus. And two, they have not received the power of the Holy Spirit that equips us and makes us fit for service. Just like Nicolaus, I pray with you today that you may commit yourself to Jesus Christ, get the Holy Spirit from him, and be committed and fit for the service that you are called for. Nicolaus should be your friend. He was very fit for service. He was fitted for service that he was called for. Now there was peace. When the seven were chosen, peace came back. And the Gentiles, together with the Jews, enjoyed their fellowship as Christians together. How we pray that even during such a time, we might, we might find people who are fitted for service, who can help both the Gentiles and the Jews to come and fellowship together, who can help us during such a time to be together in love and in unity. May the Lord give you strength and ability to be fitted for the service in the community and even in the church. Amen. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, just like Nicolaus, again we pray today that being not known, 
still, he, he played a very important part in the community and in the Christian church. So today we pray as well that you may make us fit for service. Whether we are elected in church positions or not, we pray that you make us fit for service because you've called us to be stewards and you've entrusted us with a ability to take care of that which is given in our hands. So Jesus, without the qualities that Nicolaus had, we may not be fit for the work that you've given us. So Lord, bestow the spirit upon us, give us the gifts, give us the fruit, so that we may be fit for any service that we are called to undertake. Thank you, Jesus. May you bless all the viewers and the listeners, for we pray and trust in Jesus' name. Amen. Kutangaza injili mataifa yote ya sikie Wasikosa sikia wito Bali wewe umeji yoko wa roho yako Ebu tangaza tangaza injili ya buwana Ebu tangaza tangaza kwa kila luga Nijukumu la kondugu Kutangaza injili mataifa yote ya sikie Sikia wito, bali wewe umeji yoko wa roho yako Ebu tangaza tangaza injili ya buwana Ebu tangaza tangaza kwa kila luga Nijukumu la kondugu Kutangaza injili mataifa yote ya sikile Wasikose sikia wito, bali wewe umeji yoko wa roho yako Oh